Caps dice and Zeus still. Oh my god, let's fucking go! <laughs> okay, so now we're going to get G2 versus T1. Both teams turn out to be complete losers. One team seemingly forgot how to draft and how to play their champions, and the other one, yeah, Baron is a thing, and uh, yeah, not a game for first or anything, but yeah, still the match for second place so far, and it should be still hyphy. Zeus is, Zeus is again completely, yeah, Zeus, Zeus fucked. Owner is here, that's great, but... Oh no! Now oh, come on! He lives with 10 HP. Oh no! Uh, T1 have the right idea to go for like a counter gank there from Onar, but Zeus is like absolutely running at the top lane. The way he manages his waves are horrendous. Like, oh. yeah, that's obviously a nice idea from Riancos. Owner reads the play, but well, Zeus placed a bit too disrespectful. And here, Zeus with the uh, broken blade with the oranges at the last possible second. Oh, that's uh, yeah, Caps should die here potentially. Oh no, he gets the. Ooh. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, I, I don't even know anymore. Game already started to become a fiesta. Oh. Yeah, obviously Faker doesn't have Ignite, so he has to play with a bit more respect. Okay. And yeah, so uh, owner and carrier, they have to respect, but they they clearly aren't. Yankos is also here. Oof. What a fucking fiesta. Oh no, like Zeus again, he is... I... Like... Ooh, ooh. But, uh, I mean, that is... Is it worth it? He gives assists over, but buys time more and more. I think it's, in the end, it's actually worth it. Uh, because Gumayushi should get the third here. Uh, Rift Heart obviously falls into the hands of G2. But it's kind of negated, right, by uh, T1. And again, so far we see G2 edge out in these uh, skirmishes uh, with like heads up plays from Yankos, few arrows from Zeus, obviously, he's kind of sending it, but also like pickups with uh, Caps Ignite, obviously, uh, also adding uh, good benefits. Uh, but yeah, T1 is, they're not too far behind, like they're actually even in gold due to uh, like better macro and better laning, um, minus Zeus. This is like m minus, obviously. Uh, the 5-1 scoreline. This game looks more like a normal T1 game uh, in terms of like what they prioritize, right? Boomer getting turrets, playmaking from Zeus and Owner. Obviously, it didn't pan out, but uh, so far, I'm I'm not too worried about this game. Not yet. Ooh, numbers advantage. Broken Blade has ult and TP. Ooh. Ooh, how, wait, what was, wasn't Zeus mid just now? Wow. I couldn't, I, I, I need to, I need to wake up more. Ooh, Caps gets hooked. Caps dies and Zeus still, oh my god, let's fucking go. <laughs> I, I, I'm completely out of it. I have no idea, so, uh, sorry, I can't really commentate correctly. I, I don't know what it is, but. Let's scream and have fun because T1 is doing it so far here. Carrier probably predicts uh, a flash uh, or something, but hey, whatever. And yeah, Zeus ult obviously massive. And sure, I mentioned the Gangplank ult and it was quite annoying, but Caps and Yankos not there yet. Even though Yankos ult is strong, 
not there yet. And yeah, Caps gets hooked, gets DC'd, and really nice play. Oh, Targamas! That was a nice idea, and Faker collects the kill. Nice pick up, my Keria. I need to come down. We have not uh, secured Baron yet. But that's Faker's ultimate. Uh, that means Ari is quite useless now. But... Okay, so we lose the smite and we're going to lose our lives here. I, I'm not very confident about this fight. Oh my god, but the charm is massive! Kenko... Oh my god, Karia, what did you eat for breakfast? He again hooks and caps and he dies. Wow! But again, we have not killed Baron yet. We have not killed Baron yet. I have, I have a trauma, right? Other people have fear of spiders. I have a fear of Baron right now. Obviously, it procs quite a bit. And yeah, that's a turret trade here. Caps getting the top lane turret. Uh, but T1 picks up two. And <laughs> in bot lane, uh, in a turret, obviously 800 gold. That should... Yeah, no, they're not overforcing for the next one. Obviously, they now have a lot of money in their pockets. They should probably chill a bit. Um, I think bot lane, top lane trade, obviously not amazing, but without bounties, it's not a loss, it's just even, and I mean Faker might be able to defend, I don't think he can, oh my god, if he plays like that though, if he plays like that though, T1 just ends the game, man, ah Shibai, that's, uh, that's the numbers advantage, Zeus TP a bit slow, ah shit, ah, that's a 2v1, two, two, two whatever, T1 though, uh, yeah, they they, uh, they they take quite a bit. Like, sure, Faker falls there, that's a bit silly. Uh, he nearly outplays the 2v1, but he defends the turret, that's 800 gold. Him dying, that's 300. I don't think he had a shutdown, maybe he had, but it's not 800 gold shutdown, so that's uh, that's worth actually. But G2's uh, vision setup here again for this Drake is great. And the T1, they don't have all their cooldowns yet, but. Same goes for G2, they secure the Drake and yeah, they actually get away. They blew a few cooldowns and in theory T1 now has cooldowns for Baron, but obviously that's something we're not met. No, 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 don't, don't, no, no, please, no, okay, 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 okay. They're looking for the- oh my god, the ult from Carrier was so good, bounce of so many people. G2, obviously, they have to check that. I don't think they had any blue trinkets available, and that should be it, that should be the game! 21 minutes! Yes! Let's go! That's the revenge. Now only RNG is on the chopping block, but I hold my horses. Yeah, he just dies, turret's also not taking down Zeus, and... Yeah, that's a 21 minute. I wouldn't say it a clap. T1 was always in a great position, minus the first, what is it, eight minutes? But that's it! T1, 1-1 one, one now against G2. That secures us the second spot for today. Obviously, yeah, devastatingly disgusting performance against EG. G2 with another 0-2. Uh, they, they really are kicking themselves. That's 0-4 in the last two days. Let's stay positive, let's not... Uh, Kick a kick a dying dog or what is that? What is that saying? Whatever uh, T1 they look great going back to comfort going back to what worked for them Even though the matter has changed a bit. They went with their style This is a comp more or less that we expected Diego, Ari, Aphelios, Nautilus Should uh, rumble is a bit odd one But these are four champions T1 played all spring long and they played their game Sure G2 very nice skirmishing early on trying to hold on to it uh, punishing Zeus, over pushing and bad laning, caps with uh, some fancy feet here and there, but it wasn't enough. T1, they take a win with their comfort style, um, and that's that's just amazing. I, I I am going to celebrate now. We're going to see each other probably tomorrow, unless some other upsets happen. And uh, yeah, till then, my friends.